director is going to give us a tour. This is the city's disaster warehouse. Uh, we want to show the people of Jacksonville as we ask them to prepare, that the city of Jacksonville is preparing and is prepared. It's all the equipment that we would need to open a shelter. Uh, we would take these out to the shelters. It's a lot of lighting, a lot of fans, a lot of electrical equipment. You see the type of light that we would use over to the right. And this is the uh, kind of equipment that we'll use for those shelters. Uh, we do encourage people to bring a lot of supplies with them, things that they would need. If they're coming to a shelter, you need to bring your own bedding. Uh, we're not going to be able to provide much. They should bring some food and snacks as well. So the equipment that you see around you is a myriad of, of being able to operate within the field, uh, whether it be at a, uh, a small incident or whether it be an entire, uh, you know, the whole northwest side or what have you. So the equipment behind you um, is all uh, grant funded purchased equipment. Um, some city purchased equipment. All that is for local uh, use. If the state, in fact, if we were not being impacted, that the state could, uh, we could respond to the state to support citizens throughout the uh, state of Florida. It's about 120,000 liters of water, and the water would be distributed at points of distribution. We work with the libraries in that effort, uh, so we'll have this available if the storm hits, and then we can get this out to the public. It's a good opportunity to show the people of Jacksonville that, that we, as the government, are preparing on all fronts, uh, including for aftermath. We hope it doesn't happen, but we're ready and we're asking you to get ready